Hi YouTube, um, I've always kept weird creepy crawlies and bizarre insects uh, since I was a little boy really um, and now I breed them in quite large numbers but I also um, keep pinned specimens of um, insects and things so you have a look over here a sec um, so this is a, an oak chest of drawers that I bought from a show quite a few years back and I've gradually been filling it with um, various pinned insects so what I'll do is I'll lay out all the drawers from this and I'll give you a tour of what's in here okay YouTube and um, these are the first six drawers um, there are 12 drawers so I'm going to do this as a uh, two-part video and um, because after trying to lay out all 12 drawers on the floor I realized it was going to be pretty impossible to get to the various drawers um, okay so this first drawer is um, insects and other creepy crawlies that I've uh, collected from Australia. Um, I spent a year in Australia and unlike here, um, insects are everywhere. <laughs> so a lot of these were collected underneath street lights at night time where they died naturally. Some of them I did um, put in fridges and things um, to put to sleep but I tried to collect only like one or two of each species. So these are um, little tiny mantises and got various like bush crickets, grasshoppers and locusts, one with its wings spread out. This is a mole cricket. I found a mole cricket in France once as well, but some more mantises, centipede. Uh, these were ticks that we um, pulled off of blue tongue skink lizards some spiders um, these huntsman spiders um, were in our camper van one of them got in our camper van with us and um, I tried to collect it and it fell down um, sort of behind the seats and we couldn't find it for a couple of weeks so that was a bit scary they don't um, they don't bite or if they do it's not dangerous that's a red back spider there that is dangerous they were everywhere in Australia some of these ants compared to my finger um, these are called bulldog ants so yeah they're about an inch long and um, they used to cling to our socks and bite us or they've actually got little stings like a wasp they used to sting us through our socks and that's quite painful cockroaches various bugs lots of different weevil species and lots of beetles some longhorn beetles here okay and then these are um, beetles that I've bought over the years from various shows um, nicely kind of laid out pinned specimens okay so quite a lot of these um, beetles will live for three or four years as a larvae something like that and then they'll hatch into a beetle out of their cocoon and then um, they tend not to live very long as an adult, only like a few weeks sometimes, um, just long enough to mate and lay eggs and then they die. So it does seem a shame to waste them and a lot of these are kind of bred in captivity now. So I think people, um, you know, breed them and then hatch them out and uh, get them to mate and lay eggs again and then they uh, pin them like this. Um, these are called Buprestid beetles, some really kind of nice metallic shiny colours on these. Yeah, they're also called jewel beetles, you can see why. Um, these ones here are quite interesting because they're kind of hairy, got little tufts on them. Um, a lot of these weevils are quite metallic as well. These ones here are called violin beetles because of the shape. The ones at the top there were stag beetles. Um, there's some ladybirds there as well. Moving on to this next drawer. These are longhorn beetles. Um, you can tell by their really long antennae. So some of these are in pairs, some of them are just single. But uh, yeah, some really big beetles here. 
and metallic one. This one's quite shiny. So again, like yeah, lots of these um, are collected from the um, the show that they have at Kempton Park every year. Uh, and it's taken me a lot of years to collect all of these. I haven't just gone in and bought them all in one year. I've probably collected them over at least 10 years. Okay, these lots of uh, rhinoceros beetles. And, and sort of dung beetles in this thing as well. So a lot of these would live like in Africa rolling like elephant dung balls and that sort of thing. Yeah, a lot of them are called scarab beetles as well. Some more. Yeah, some of them are just really dull colours. Some of them are metallic again. And um, quite often, like the the male will have a horn, a big horn, and the female won't. Um, we get similar beetles in this country, like our minotaur beetle, where the male has horns and the female doesn't. Same with our stag beetle actually, obviously the male has horns and the female has smaller smaller jaws. This one's quite interesting because the female um, has the long arms so she, she comes out and just clings to a tree, long front legs. And then the, um, the smaller male flies about trying to find her from her scent. There's quite a few species like that. Okay, and then we've got Goliath beetles. These are really nice. These are some of the heaviest insects in the world. More shiny ones. A lot of these are like um, known as fruit beetles, these smaller ones. Uh, they can be bred really easily in captivity just by feeding them on fruit, the larvae. They just look like sort of grubs feed them on fruit and things and leaf litter and then they hatch into cocoons um, and then you can hatch the cocoons into these amazing shiny metallic beetles yeah and they've all got uh, wings like this this one with its wings open here's another one with its wings open these ones here that are sort of gold and silver are quite unusual don't see those for sale very often. Um, so some of these beetles, you know, even the big ones with their wings out, are actually quite cheap to buy because they're quite common. Um, some of them, though, like the smaller, like little gold ones, they're more uncommon. Not many people um, keep or breed those, so they're just more expensive to buy as a pin specimen these beetles. Um, I'm an artist and um, I painted this particular beetle uh, as a sort of a step-by-step -step tutorial. It's like a natural history illustration. So if you want to see that, check out my other video. Okay, again, lots of um, longhorn beetles in this one. And uh, those were like stag beetles and things. So those are the first six drawers anyway. Um, I'll stop now and I'll uh, lay the other six videos out and you can watch part two. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.